The meeting will come to order. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Okay. Looks like we've got a large group. This is probably a record attendance <laughs> for us. I don't know if we should celebrate or not. Mm. Okay, this is a meeting of the Lakeville Conservation Commission. I got it right tonight. Uh, I'm going to ask the members of the commission to identify themselves, please. Joshua Faraday. John LeBlanc. Bob Bouchard, Chairman. Mark Knox. Joseph Chamberlain. Nancy Yates, and we're being recorded by Lake Cam, and I'd like to ask if anybody in the audience is recording. Nope. Okay. Good and if you'd, like to, if you'd like to speak, we'll ask you to come and sit at, at, with these tables at when, it's, when it's time. All right, so we have a long list, and let's get started. Uh, first is uh, 310 Kenneth Welch Drive. This is a notice of intent. It was previously uh, continued back in uh, uh, 11 14. And uh, so I can believe someone is here. Hi guys, yeah, this is uh, Andy Kivo with Goddard Consulting um, from the Alcan team. Uh, I know you have a loaded agenda. I will be quick tonight. There were no new uh, materials submitted for this project, but we've been continuing it for the last few months now. Um, I felt it was time just to come back and let the commission know what's going on and get in the timeline. Just do not let things sit for too long. So this project was first um, filed with you guys back in the spring of this year. We had um, some back and forth in the summer submitting new materials. So this phasing plan that you guys see here was actually the last plan that was submitted to the Conservation Commission. Um, one of our outstanding comments was when this parking expansion is going to be taking place, um, how are we going to be displacing the different um, parking areas? So what our engineers did was they created a phasing plan um, where only a few amount of vehicles would be displaced at a time. Um, and then once everything was constructed, that would give us ways to get into the replication area to get the work done. Uh, that was one of the comments we had at the time for the Conservation Commission. We still have some that we're wrapping up with DEP. Um, the largest one is about the river on site. Um, it's mapped as a perennial stream when this project was first um, permitted years and years ago. It was found to be intermittent, but that has uh, since expired. So we're still reviewing that area in the field. Um, we had a site walk with our peer reviewer about a month ago where we reviewed both the wetland and the river delineation. Um, on that site walk, we resolved the uh, wetlands on the site. We've, as we moved about two flags that will be resurveyed and brought to you guys on a new site plan. Um, but the river is an issue that is still ongoing. Uh, the mean annual high water in this area, there, there really is no defined banks at all. So there's a lot of professional disagreement of, of where that's going to be. So we have another site walk that um, will be because as of now, this will be considered a perennial river and you guys will be receiving a new plan with um, riverfront area shown on that. And that may change some of the mitigation required on site. So that's all yet to come. Um, we've been continuing a while, so I just wanted to, to come in today and let you guys know um, that we're still on it and that that work will be coming to you guys in the next month or so. I hope to wear the holes for this next uh, meeting. Oh, uh, yeah. Is... I know. So do you anticipate returning in two weeks or four weeks? I'm going to continue for two for now, um, but it may be possible <clears throat> that it's going to be four. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, December 12th. Mm -hmm. this the next one, but I don't think we have one scheduled after that in December. So it would be a long stretch in between okay. if that's the case. That's okay. We've been putting you guys through long stretches of continuation, mm -hmm. so I, I have no problem for you to do that one more time. Just be a warning. Uh, did you have something else, Nancy? Well, I, I just went back and pulled out our old agenda, and we've been on this since yeah. May 23rd is what, what I can go back to. Yeah, at least And maybe long, even before that, so I just... It's like, we yeah. had six months. I don't think we've ever, I can't ever remember having something that just kept going for six months. And the uh, site visit was a month ago. And I know that there was some controversy over the, the river and uh, you only moved two flags after all that? Just for the, um, the BBW portion of the wetlands, the river is actually still being worked through. Okay. So more will probably be moved, um, but that's yet to be determined. All right, so it's a very, uh, let's say, interesting site, I guess. It just, I don't like it to be on us that it goes on for six months. So <laughs> that we really would like to, like, get it going and get it off our agenda every single meeting for six months. So Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'll do my right. part. Well, we're glad to see you. Thanks for, for coming in. Joe had a question. Yes, of course. Joe, that is an unnamed stream, right? Uh, to my knowledge, yes, it is. It's Matt Perennial, but I don't have a name for that, it. That's the one that runs basically parallel to the railroad track? Yep, it does. Yep. It comes actually from the, the railroad tracks are here shown in the plans. It actually yeah. comes out from underneath the pipe, yeah. and then it runs through the remainder of the site. Yeah, okay. Then I'll start. <clears throat> so I guess I'll make a motion to continue to December 12th 
at 7 p.m. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second in discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Hope well, to see you then. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for your time. <clears throat> All right, next, uh, Nine Cross Street. This is also a notice of intent. Uh, someone is here from Zenith. This was also continued at our last meeting. Good evening, everyone. Um, so uh, just, to, just as uh, if you all remember from the last hearing, um, we, were, we were, were continuing either way, but there was um, some concern brought up about the cost of the peer review. Um, the, the, the peer review cost was $8,000 to review the wetland line and to review a culvert for a driveway culvert. Um, and as I mentioned, that's that we felt that my client and our, even ourselves felt as though that was absorbing it. So at the last meeting, we talked about um, maybe reaching out to other commissions of like Middleborough, what have you, that use other consultants as far as review of the wetland line. Um, I don't know if that's happened, but what I did do is I went ahead and gave you, I, I have a list here of three different ones that, again, we do a lot of work in Middleborough as well with the Conservation Commission. Um, so I put together a list of three botanists that you can vet with the, with the uh, commission as well in Middleborough. You can speak with Trisha Cassidy. Um, she's the, uh, excuse me, she's the conservation agent over there. She can, you know, vouch or not vouch for, for these, but I know these are three that we've had um, review our lines in the past um, that have all been really good and pretty reasonable. Like I said, we've the line that we're doing is like about 30 flags. Um, I've had flag, well, you know, lines that are a couple hundred flags that are a tenth of the price. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it just wanted to bring that up. And um, again, I'm open up to open to what have you. I mean, if it, if the board sees fit that that has to be that, you know, that reviewer, then that's the way we'll go. But we just felt as though it was kind of aggressive you know yeah. kind of a uh, high make a point that mr chair well, one second uh just so you know that we uh, put together a re revised uh, scope of work and we sent it out to two uh places that we've dealt with before but i don't know if they're on your list or not but i'll welcome them as well if you don't mind can i i, I this is a copy is five copies i didn't know i was going to hand them out but um, i can give it to you for the record and then That's you fine. can utilize it so. perfect I, i'm sorry go ahead uh well i, I I think that the scope is verbally being diminished because I think we also wanted the construction of the crossing to be reviewed, not just right. the wetland line and the color uh, because of possible flow of water from one side to the other once they create that dike in essence. So it was more than just wetland line. So I just don't want it to seem like- We understand that. Yeah. We understand that, but it still seems Okay. You know, and, 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 if, and if we change the scope too much, uh, it's going to be hard to compare one with another. You're going to be mixing apples and oranges. You know? I don't think the scope should be changed at all. I, I didn't think we changed. We did not change the scope at the last meeting, to my recollection. We did make. Did, I'm sorry. I, 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 I misspoke if I said that. Okay. We did not. No. Correct. Right. So it will be the same scope that would go out to everybody, and we'll just get a bunch of quotes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's fine. Um, so at this point, are you looking to see what comes back and we'll get a continuance and get some other responses? Yes, sir. Okay. So do we have a motion to continue? Oh, I make a motion to continue Nine Cross Street to December 12th at 7 p.m. Second. Discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Next. Goat Island, for, this is a request for a determination of applicability, uh, which was also continued at our last meeting. Uh, good evening, Jared Lobo. How you doing? My son handles this, but he's had another meeting tonight. Um, we'd like to build a shed on Goat Island, uh, 24 by 20. I know some members have been out there with me, and uh, we discussed um, making the foundation out of uh, helix coils. Uh, penetrating the ground. We've changed that now. We're just going to go with the uh, on grade with cinder blocks. Um, I have a, if I can give this to you, sure. Sure. Is this the one we have? Uh, okay. Over here. Over All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks like your island grew. 
Uh, again, so we're going to just go once in the box, uh, which structure, uh, probably the closest point to the resource would be about 80 feet, as you see by the plan. Um, to me, it's very similar of uh, a shed or a deck being built on, on dry land with the resource in front of it. We're not going to disturb anything. We don't plan on cutting trees. And the biggest reason for it, I know it's not a concern of yours, is we're getting a lot more traffic on the island. We have uh, game cameras out there. With the mess with the, I don't know if you're aware of it, with the renting of the jet skis there on Third Island, we had a lot of people coming, lighting fires. So we're just trying to, if we lose the, if it catches fire, we're in a lot of trouble out there. So we just like to do whatever we can to mitigate people going on the island. So are you going to make, continue to man, maintain that uh, security? Yes, we have uh, signs at just about every access point. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have game cameras, two game cameras. And we put a dock out and sometimes you saw the dock when you visited. Because uh, I know when we had our site visit, you were telling us that uh, it was uh, almost a full-time job just picking up all the trash that people leave behind if, if you've got no, no one to uh, and, oversee it. And even with signs, people, we see them all the time. We, we, if it's, you know, if we have had time, we run out and talk to them and get them off the island. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. Nancy? Um, the last time work was done, not on your island, but on an island on Long Pond, and the equipment went out on a pontoon boat, it was very treacherous. How are you, we went out on your pontoon boat when we went out there. Are you bringing a front end loader or anything out there? We have brought one out there. I have a, you went out on a small pontoon boat. I have yep. one which carries uh, seven or eight tons. It's a big one. I think it was parked there when you were there. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we have ability to get that out there. It's not treacherous. Plenty of. Uh, so you are taking large machinery out there. I uh, just probably take any dead wood out, things like that. It's not large <clears throat> machinery. It's, it's a, uh, it's a two-ton Kubota. It's not large, large equipment. It's not a lawnmower, but. It's <clears throat> L twenty-eight fifty. Uh, it's a B twenty-six. Oh, well, there's a smaller one, B series. Okay, yeah, that's not. That's it's not, not big at all. Yeah, that's not big at all. Yeah. Is that is that the same one you used the last time? Yes. Was, okay. Yeah, pictures of it going out there. I know people yeah. shot your pictures and things like that. Right. Anyone else? Uh, are you planning to store anything in it? Uh, we'll probably store some, you know, boating equipment, things like that. Uh, I know you can't. You're not supposed to live in it, obviously. So. No. Um. Any fuel or anything? No, no, we won't okay. help. I'm not going to give them any more access to a fire than we already have. Yeah. Port of body of any type? No. Have you pulled a permit with the building inspector? No, we came here first. Okay. You you are going to pull a permit? Yes. We've had discussions with them, but again, we, we want to start here. Okay. I suppose we could stipulate that no fuel would be stored. Uh, how do you know when okay. there's Well, you wouldn't put anything like that anyway for your own protection. Yeah, it's a wood structure. Really. It's not yeah. like it's got a concrete floor. So right. It's against yeah. their own best interest. Yeah. So you, 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 you can state it, it yeah. but you always want to, if you're going to do an RDA, you're going to do more conditions or is it? Just one. Just one. Anything else? Okay. Are so, um, anybody, everybody done? Yeah. I will make a motion that we issue a negative determination three, which is uh, the work described in that request is when the in the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection subject to jurisdiction of the act. Therefore, said work does not require filing of a notice of intent, but is subject to the following conditions. No fuel storage. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I'm just going to recuse myself from voting. Okay. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We're, we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank good you. Luck. Good luck. <clears throat>
All right, then let's uh, move on. Next is for Fieldstone Drive, uh, which is also a notice of intent. And this was continued at our last meeting. Uh, good evening for the record now, Zager from Zenith. Um, so at the last meeting, there was discussion about, uh, obviously we, the, the proposal is to remove the piles out of there. Um, that one, we went in discussion about that. And then it came up about the uh, old order of conditions for the home, uh, for the existing home. So what I said at the last meeting is I would go out to the site, <clears throat> take a look at it and see if we could file a certificate of compliance or what we need to do come in compliance. It is not ready for a certificate of compliance filing at this point. Um, the, the front of the yard is stabilized. Um, you know, the house is fully constructed. He's got a lot of his walls constructed, but the rear of the property is not stabilized. Um, and it's, it's, so it's basically just gravel. He's got the deck built, um, but it's basically all gravel. He does have silt sock up. Um, he does need, basically what he was doing is he was waiting on um, getting a landscaper in there to finish up the work. Um, so he plans on doing that, but obviously this isn't the time here to do that. Um, so my, again, like I talked about at the last hearing was we talked about potentially doing an amended order. Um, but when I originally filed this, my intention was to try to get these piles out of here, get them, get them removed, um, and keep that separate from the home construction. Um, my client understands that he has to do the work. Um, I've been helping him um and guiding him all along the way as to what he needs to do to get into compliance to be in compliance with the order of conditions um and that order of conditions is valid until july of 2024 um that get that's three years from the original date of issuance um i understand that we if if at that time um you know 30 days prior if he's not done um i would request a, an extension and you know i obviously whatever the commission sees fit. Um, you can go up to three years. You can do less if you feel as though you don't want to drag this on anymore, uh, which I completely understand. Um, like I said, I will be the one that is going to make sure that it's going to get done uh, and that it's going to be done properly. But I, for me to file a certificate of compliance in this time, I just can't. Um, it's just not ready. Um, it's like I said, he's got to, he's got to plant lawn. Um, in the rear, he plans on putting stone underneath the, um, the deck, um, as well as um, around where his uh, slider door is. Uh, he wants to put all key stone in there um, just to kind of stabilize that area and then won't, won't see the rest of the area. There doesn't appear to be any erosion. Um, you know, I, I, I did meet uh, Nancy out there on site uh, this, uh, last Monday. Um, to kind of go over the site to show her, you know, what was going on. Um, and it doesn't appear to be any erosion from the site. Um, everything seems to, even though it wasn't fully stabilized, it does appear to be um, not causing any, you know, issues to the, to the resource area. Um, so there was no concerns with that. There was one little section of um, erosion control that needed to be fixed. Um, so he did replace that. And again, my client's been doing everything I've, I've asked him to do, he's done. Um, and like I said, as we move forward with this, um, I will be there to monitor it and I will give the commission updates on it as well. But my intent for tonight was to hopefully to be able to, um, close out the order of, you know, close out the, uh, the notice of intent for the removal of the vials, get that approved tonight, hopefully. And then we'll move forward with the, the work on the COC to clean that all up. Um, that, that was my intent tonight. And just as a point of clarification right now he's got a gravel driveway i imagine at some point he's going to put pavers or blacktop that's correct wouldn't make sense to have trucks coming and going over that if he could get that done now during construction this is all sort of probably a late realization that he would like to level that area off and while you're in construction exactly work it into it exactly um that. how many trucks are going to be coming and going you think total to get that pile cleared down really what he wants it to be. We talked about it at the last meeting. I mean, there's probably a couple thousand yards of, of material. Um, so, you know, I figure one of the 20, you know, so hundred trucks. 20, 22 yards per, per truck. Yeah. A lot of trucks. Yeah. 
probably about 100 trucks. So better having it go over a gravel driveway. Exactly. Uh, right. Up on the edge of a newly paved driveway too. Okay. Well, what's the uh, pad the, the, that you put just next to the road to try to clean the tires up? Tracking pad. Tracking pad before it uh, goes out, drags all that mud out on the road. Yeah, I mean, with the with this, I mean, it's got to have the gravel, you know, drive. I mean, you know, I, it'll have to be a stipulation that, um, you know, that the, the road's kept clean at the end of every day. Um, I, I would suggest that you make that a condition, um, you know, and that, that would really be one of the concerns I would see. Um, but ripping up the driveway that's there to put down the riprap, I don't know if that's really necessary, but again, it's, it's up to the commission. Did I understand you to say that uh, sequence-wise, next step would be to uh, close out the notice of intent i i tried to try to get in a what our hope is tonight is to be issued an order of conditions for the removal of the piles All right. so um, we'll go with two order conditions, two orders two orders of conditions. conditions concurrently and probably close them out at the same time and that's that's or july or right. that's that would be the intent would be to file a certificate of compliance for both at the same time good that, that's what i wanted clarification and uh uh, something else will come to me. Uh, anybody, anybody else have any questions? So just to get this straight for the motion, you want him to gravel the drive? No, it is it currently it is gravel. Gravel. It's currently So he doesn't need to necessarily create a new tracking pad, but he just, as a condition, you just need to put in there that right. <clears throat> the applicant is responsible for keeping the uh, road clean. sediment and debris out of the road. Yeah, road will be kept clean at the end of every day. Routinely, yes. All right, because right. I was there. I just didn't remember it as a kind of gravel. I guess it's just, it's you know, not loose gravel. Thing, Niles, and it's not really conservation's uh, purview, but it sounds like you're removing a lot. Is that Does that trigger the gravel removal by law? I think 2,000 yards is the requirement before it goes into the select board for a I gravel removal. I believe it's 2,000 yards. But it's not gravel. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's Phil. <laughs> Phil. So whatever they're removing, the yards. Earth removal. Once earth removal happens, it's right. 2,000 yards or more triggers the requirement of getting an earth removal permit to the select board. I'll look at it. I'll, I'll look at it and confirm. Um, it, it may trigger it. I'll, I'll have to take a look at that. Okay. Niles, is there a, a revised plan? No. No, not from the last hearing. This is the same yeah. plan that we've always had. You haven't made any changes to no. it. Okay. Anyone else? Do you want to put that as a condition for gravel removal? Or earth removal, I should say. Yeah, earth removal. that like a an as-built after the fact i mean how are you gonna what's, what's that that earth removal permit yeah that niles would have to take existing conditions and then take final conditions to create the volume that was removed so you probably wouldn't know till after the fact yep mm -hmm. okay yeah we're gonna have to do a final as-built anyway to confirm that it's all been put back to level you know to grade um and then when it's stabilized you know once it's been seeded uh, you know, we'll, we'll file our certificate. And again, though, it's not in our purview. Where does such material get hauled off to? Whoever will buy it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Ultimately, yeah. closest spot that will take it. I'm sure you can find someone. There's always somebody that'll take material. That's a yes, certainly. What is the material right now? I believe it's another. From the the built material, it's just like it's gravel. It's good. Was it brought in? That's for sure. Was it brought in? No. It was always there. Yeah. So it was it was from the site. Okay. And it just comes from the construction of the house. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. So. Um, well, before you say anything, you were... No, I was pointing to the saying, audience, but I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to say to um, submit an as-built to see if it if they need an earth removal permit. 
like that. I mean, how do we say that? Because he won't at know until completion and as built. Okay. Of, uh, All right. Original and final conditions to determine volume of material moved will determine whether a earth removal permit is required or not. And said fee shall be paid to the select board if necessary. That's a mouthful. I hope she can write past it. She's doing a great you job. don't need that permit before you actually remove the material. But they don't know if they need yeah, it. Yeah, they don't know. Gonna be right around That's that what amount. the as, so the as can, built's for. You can estimate. Yeah, you can estimate. Yeah, I, I'll come up with an estimation. I, yeah. that, that would be my recommendation is let's let, let me figure, let me estimate what's there. I mean, we surveyed the miles. Okay. Um, so I can get an estimation of what it's going to be. Subject to estimation and necessary, necessary, necessity, whatever. <laughs> Each of you to say. <laughs> permitting, <laughs> proper permitting. Right. While you're finishing up, mess. Nancy, do we have anyone from uh, any of Butters or anyone uh, interested in speaking or asking questions? I have lunch, thanks, thanks. Come on, have a seat. I mean, I want to say, 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 I my question is, why wasn't that done while it was being constructed while it was still up to six? It wasn't permitted. Um, that was, work wasn't permitted originally, right? Correct. That's why. Why, why wasn't it permitted? I don't understand that. It wasn't applied for. It wasn't included. Sometimes those things get overlooked when they put in their <coughs> filing for the wetlands. That, um, the permit that they initially filed was in July, and I have a copy of it, and it's dated April 23rd. 2021. And? Well, he said July. It was issued. But well, it might have been approved by the commission in July, but it applied for April. Correct. So it's three years from the approval. It's three years from the approval. Well, they, they the issuance of the order of conditions. Right. So we mentioned about doing uh, something about uh, the backyard and gravel and so forth, but no mention was made of the property between four field stone and six field stone, which has been an erosion problem for us to the point that I myself have constructed a stone wall to hold all of the gravel back that was getting down into our lawn so my husband couldn't mow it. The other problem that we had when he first moved in is for some reason, he thought that our tele the telephone pole that was the lot line was on his property and he didn't want our electricity crossing his property. So he had middle ground gas and electric come and put up a new pole. They put up a box on the property. They put in a cable box. All right, uh, at this and point, I want to just finish. You try to stick to the, I, that's the what I'm getting to hand. Say, okay. So our property, it says no damage will be done to somebody's private property. That whole left side of our front yard was damaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. We kept going. We just said, you know something? You want to be good neighbors? I could say anything. Every sentence was I want to be a good neighbor, but when he came to us and told us it was going to be a problem if we sold our house because the corner of our driveway was on his property, we were forced to then get another survey done, which was in our favor and showed the existing lines that we had done by Jamie Dissonette when we built our barn. Their survey company paid for our survey to be done. So this is what the front of my yard looked like before this all started, okay? All like that. That's a picture of the side. This is what it looks like now. It slopes down, and that's what caused me to start building the stone wall. This is the wall that I've built all up here. This is the view we now have, where this is the view we used to have. He told us he was gonna landscape the, the whole front because it was his, he said he apologized, it was his mistake and everything else, he was gonna get all landscaped. 
he asked me what I wanted done. And at the time I was so stressed out about the whole thing that I was trying to put it out of my head because there wasn't anything I seemed to be able to do about it at the time. And I told him I really didn't know what I hadn't thought about it. This was the box he had put in. All these were removed by Middleborough Gas and Electric after the second survey. They refused to remove the pole because it was going to cost somebody some money. So we said fine. Again, how, then, how are we involved with this? No, this is saying erosion, where you're saying he has to do the backyard. The whole side yard slopes down on my property and nothing is being done about any landscaping on the side yard. Yet, he had a landscaper come in and do the front yard and the other side of the yard. I don't know why the landscaper didn't do it all at that time. Do we see that as a violation of uh, the wetland regulation? Could be, yes. Well, this you will see as a violation. These are drain pipes. This is in his front yard at a little area he made for parking his car on the street. And this is from the side of his driveway. We talked to the highway department. They went out there and he told them he was going to install drywall. And they said, okay. Instead, what he did, he covered them up with rocks. No drywall has been put in. So I can Stone dust I drain down. They look like they're outside the buffer zone. They, they are. I can speak on that a little bit. He did speak with the, with the department. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. The stone dust drains down into this catch basin, it up. which has been replaced by the highway department, and so has the other one because they're starting to be in bad disrepair anyway. This is the stakes on the property line between my house and six, six hill stone and eight hill stone. This drains down into the wetlands between our properties. This is all the stone dust draining into the wetland. That's filtration, yeah. They've all filtration. No drywall has been installed. The rocks are still there, so it still drains right out. And while they were doing their construction, I personally was out there multiple times sweeping up the sand on the road that was washing down into my driveway and down into these pet stations. So when they say they're going to do it every day, I'm sorry, I have a hard time believing he's going to do anything he says he's going to do. Because I have been living with this mess for two years now. And I wrote to the conservation board in May. They sent a letter to him. And it didn't come until just two weeks ago that we finally got a hearing after I went to the board of selection and asked them to see if they could do something about this. Now it's coming into winter time. It's going to be frozen and everything else. Mr. Jim? Yes, sir. Where is that? This is between six and eight field stones. Yeah, but I'm, I've been there and I'm trying to figure out the backyard goes this into is, the wetlands. You're saying my, this is on the side. This is my, my side yard. Comes down here. This is the property line that goes to the woods on yep. the left side of my house. Yeah. Okay. And right past this little here, that's where the little drainage hole is. When I was up there, they actually said they were going to have to dig that all up because it's only like maybe the size of your coffee cup. I welcome you to come up anytime. I've like, been there. Years. I'm just, I, maybe not. As, if this is on your property, it wouldn't be on that. No, this it, is from the result, though, of his driveway that slopes down, as you can see. There's no berm to stop any of that drainage. So it's coming off of there and going down the road, you say? Yeah. To go to your. Goes down to the catch basin. All right. So and the other two drains. That would be on the first order of conditions for the building of the house. Right. Right? That's correct. Not on the one we're looking at right now. Right. Okay. And the conditions of building the house haven't been met yet. So right. Well, he'd never get a certificate of compliance until yeah. some of that stuff is figured out. But tonight, yeah, we keep we'd separate. like to get the piles out of there. Exactly. As a start. And Niles, you so started now to... I have 100 drops going back and forth. I can't. Well, he still had. You still have to get a certificate of compliance for the building of the house. That's on the first order of conditions. That's still ongoing. And this is not all filled. Right. Niles, you want to speak to any of this? 
So the so the roof drains, um, I believe my client spoke with the town um, DPW, and he was at he he spoke with them, and he is going to if you have you already removed the yeah. removed yeah. it, yeah. so he's already capped them off. So now it's just discharging onto the driveway, and that's what they asked him to do. They just asked him to put it down, and just it's just the roof got it down because what he did was he piped it out, and it was going out to a roof drain, out daylighting out onto the front. This is all going out to the road. It's not going to the wetland. So there's no, it's all outside the 100 foot buffer. So it's, you know, it's, it's, as far as that goes, it's outside of your jurisdiction. But that being right. said, it is a stabilization thing. So we got to deal with it. But it's draining on the gravel. Him finish now. And washing the gravel. Let him finish now. He... Um, so, so yeah, so, so we, we, he's already been in contact with them. He already knows that that's what needs to be done. Um, as far as the side yard goes, 100%, if it needs to be stabilized, it's going to be stabilized. I will not sign off on it unless it's correct. Um, so that, that I can promise you. you. I mean, you guys know I'm in front of you all the time. I'm going to do what's right. And it's going to be right. And my client wants to make it right. So it's got to be done. But there's no sense in going crazy with landscaping until the material is removed. We'll stable. Once it's cleaned up, we'll remove it. So again, there's steps to this. Remove the piles first, then get the, the landscaping cleaned up and move forward and get this behind us. That's it. I mean, it, to me, it's it's that simple. So can I ask why you never... Through the chair, through the, through yeah. the chair. But can I ask why you never re landscape as you told us he was going to do where he had put all those electric boxes and cable boxes? <clears throat> at, at this point, that's history. You know, it's not going to change anything. Okay. You know, I think, well, we, uh, we don't we have any jurisdiction right. over that. So, I think as, as part of the uh, conditions on this new notice of intent, we should just add something to help us craft some language, Niles, to make a condition that grades, even with your permission, over the property line to rectify anything related to the earth removal and the path trucking lane, as well as any grading issues between the two properties to grass and seed everything when it's done. Yeah, everything's going to be stabilized, 100%. It has to be stabilized when it's done. Right, and I, I understand you're not happy, and you understand that we can't tell people to do stuff that's not on their property. I At that. some point, we, we need you guys to work together, because this is going to become a civil matter, not a conservation matter, no, I, whatever. And I so, that. you know... Again, we're, we're glad you came in. We're glad you spoke your piece. But ultimately, you know, if we can get you guys to have a condition on this that mitigates the problem and makes it grass again. I think that would be our ultimate goal. We, you know, we're not looking to be court here, though. I just want you to know that we did in May message them and ask them to speak to us about what their plan was for this. And they said they would meet with us at the end of our driveway with Niles. And I asked when that would be, and they said when Niles was available. And I said, well, when might that be? And they said, it'll be when it is. And they haven't spoken to us since. We have tried to reach out, and they refuse to communicate with us. There's nothing we can do about that. If they don't want to talk to us, that's fine. But everybody should be able to get along. And there's never been any issues in this neighborhood prior to this. Yeah. And everything that he's done and he hasn't met the conditions that he's supposed to have for the certificate and everything. He has no plans of doing any of this stuff unless he's forced to do it. I'd like to see vegetation, not just grass planted, there, but vegetation there. I mean, everything was ripped out, trees, everything. Mr. Chair, if I may, okay. uh, an assurity to the abutter here. Um, you know, we will not approve a certificate of compliance unless it is restabilized uh, to the condition that we approved. We did not approve a condition of revegetating with shrubs or anything like that. So um, I have that written down in here as part of your conditions. And I even wrote down the page for it. Uh, it was page eight, number 19 slash Roman numeral five. Mm -hmm about vegetation being planted, which none has been done. Okay, uh, I mean, it's still an open order of conditions. So, you know, work is currently taking place and the certificate of compliance isn't 
actually required until the work is completed. Is that a order of conditions that Zenith worked through? Uh, I'll have to take a look at it. I don't know. I don't recollect it. Recollect it. I'll have to take a look. No, but did you do the filing for the house? I'm sorry. Did you do the filing? Yeah, yes, for the house? yes, yes. So I guess my, and and again, we, we can get into the weeds over this, but I would assume at some point some of those conditions that you put into the paperwork for the notice of intent are standard in that if you do put in vegetation, so if it wasn't called out on the plan, you're not doing that as much as if you had proposed plantings Correct. that they would meet those requirements. I 100% I, I agree. I, I have to take a look at it. I don't remember us planting anything, you know, proposing anything. Um, but again, I'll take a look. And like I said, it has to be stabilized. So whether that's through grass or whether that's through whatever it may be, um, we will ensure that it's done properly. It's I mean, probably that's, that's written simple. out in the order of conditions. Right. So I'm yes. looking at something like after removal of the material, the area will be stabilized as per the original order of conditions. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think you need to say that because the original order of conditions is the order of conditions that they're getting a certificate I on. think you put in a condition yeah, for, it, for the gravel removal and stabilization right. of that area. Right. You don't need to condition the... Um, All right. So just up to the area will be stabilized. After All the of the, all of the, the disturbed area related to the gra uh, earth removal. Right. right. After the removal of the material, well, after the removal of the material the area will be stabilized. May I ask? All disturbed areas related. All disturbed. May I ask when, to the board when this is proposed to be done? Because last, at the last meeting, he, there was been no reach out to find anybody to remove this dirt or anything. Didn't know. Do you have an idea of when? I believe it's going to be done. So it's going to be done, I believe, like springtime um, is when it's going to be done. It's too early now just to say definitively. How long would you get a permit to issue? How long would that have been? Three years. Three years. Three years. So we're talking about this and this might not even happen for three years. But they have the, so to answer that question or to address that, um, because you have the open order of conditions, you know, and you don't have to extend that, uh, the old order of conditions. So at that time, there's still something that the commission can come back on if there's a concern. Which is this can, July. This is July, this July, correct. So it's not like you can just go away. And again, I'm gonna be working with him as well. He and I are gonna be, and I will be updating the commission. I will make sure that it's done properly. Um, I will make sure it's done. I mean, it just is what it is. It's gotta be done. So we wanna get this path behind us and get it taken care of, so. Well, I would appreciate that if they don't, if they don't wish to speak with us, that maybe you could speak with us and go over some of these things so we have a better understanding. Okay. Let's let someone else have a turn in speaking. Do you have a question? Good evening. I'm Ashley Evers. Uh, I live at 77 Pickens, which is on the other side of the stream. I'm one of the abutters. Um, I don't have issue with the, with the ground removal at all. Um, I had mentioned at the, the prior meeting my concerns with the initial order. I guess my question, my, my point of clarification that I'd like is if the initial order of conditions is not complied with, then what's the consequence? My fear is that if we, if we allow a new order to be issued, and respectfully, I'm gonna disagree with Dials about July, but I see it as of it's March of 2024, so if it's March of 2024 and the removal is not going to happen until the spring, why not close this out first and then come back in the spring when we're closer to March and get this new one? Because then those issues would arguably be cleared up, I would imagine. We can't close it out. Uh, yeah, that, that, the problem is, is that I cannot, I mean, we can't stabilize it at this point. Um, so that's the issue. So I, I, I will go back and double check the, the, the issues. I could be mistaken on that. Um, but as far as the stabilization goes, we cannot get it stabilized, and I can sign off on it. That's the problem. Okay. Um, so it's, it's got you know it's the grow grass portion of now from yeah. December to March is yeah. difficult. That's the problem I have. So I mean, if he does it, you know, find luckily he finds a landscaper that can do it in the March April time frame. By the time June comes, uh, hopefully everything will have been grown and stabilized. I can get back out there, 
and you know take pictures and do my inspection. I can even get any of the commission members out there and ensure that it's all been done. All the areas have been taken care of. And then if that's the case, then I will, I will file the certificate. Mm -hmm. um, but until that's done, I, I just think we need that time. If we need to ask for an extension, which I did discuss that, mm -hmm. if I need to ask for an extension, then that would be something I would have to do a minimum of 30 days before mm -hmm. um, is going to expire. I would do that with the commission um, and then they can extend it as, as far as they see fit. They can go up to three years. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, they could do six months. They could do, you know, whatever. Um, but that is that's that is an option. So at least there's something that's gonna be at least a little bit of a, you know, end to, the, end to this thing. So it won't drag on too much longer, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really, it's not that he's not willing to do it. It's just that getting a landscaper, um, getting it all done and stabilized, that he just needs the time. I can appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out like, we have flooding on with the stream, so I'm trying to figure out it. how to make the flooding stop. Quite frankly, sure. But you asked about consequences. Mm -hmm. Lakeville does not have its own wetlands bylaw. We defer it to the state. And the state Department of Environmental Protection is a chronically underfunded agency with finding authority. I can appreciate that. Sure. There's those consequences. Okay. And then we will. There's a number of times in the past, hey, okay, you don't want to do it, fine. You don't want to deal with us, do what we want you to do. You go deal with the state, go ahead. Okay. They come back to us very quickly, usually. There's your answer to the consequences. Okay, thank you, sir. Am I correct in that? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Is, is that there or is there something else? Yeah, I just wasn't going to step away in the middle oh, of it. That's okay. That's fine. Anyone else? Yeah. I'm just unclear on um, what's happening with the drain going to the other side, the other wetlands on the other side of the I'm not clear on how that was clarified. I'm not. You said you hadn't seen it, Nancy. Where it was on your property? It's, not, it's actually on my next door neighbor's property. If you could come back up, it's just because the people with the heat minutes can't hear you if you're not near the microphone. Yeah. No, I'm just going to have you and Highway Department work that out because that's in the road. That's not toward the wetlands. Yeah, no, so. it's completely off off site. I mean, we're talking about an area that's off site. I don't. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, well, I think it's just it, it was that run off from the driveway. So I guess you have to give us some insurance that the alteration to the roof runoff changes that were recently made will resolve that for the winter. I, mean, I, I, I assume coming. that that's the issue. That's or 90 percent of it was from the roof water running down the driveway and or wherever it was in washing stone dust or gravel into the street. So you spoke with uh, you spoke with DPW um, and they said that that's what they wanted you to do was just to cut the pipe off and then just to tap that daylight pipe and just have a roof come, you know, a roof drain come down onto the ground. Is that correct? Oh, step off. Yeah, go ahead. Scott Ma Ma'am, I would recommend that you probably follow up with the, uh, the DPW in town because that's a, a roadway issue, not a conservation issue. But it goes into the wetlands, so how is that not a conservation? I thought it went into a drain. The catch basin. Yeah. Goes into the wetlands every drain. So that's okay. Doesn't matter where, where it all originates, it still needs to be fixed. I realize that that's what I'm saying. Why is it not a conservation issue where it drains into the wetlands? Oh, we're not looking at the piping and the, the design, but typically they don't just run into wetlands, they run into but a, it's a not filtration in basin or an infil infiltration basin. But it's it's not, not wetlands, not just the drain. The whole driveway slopes down and there's no fern and it's made of gravel. Yes, it's not a wetlands issue. I see no, that. Not not. It's a highway issue. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, yeah, I, I did take care of what DPW wanted. Could you state your name? Just Scott for... Hanson. Thank you. Four field soil, sorry. Uh, I did fix that, capped it off, and they are draining right on my. Uh, driveway mm -hmm. and it out. So I did what they wanted to do. And that's compact down so that gravel's not moving. Second is that there are two sides to every story. 
and I'm going to do what you guys want that I need to do to get done right. I'm here to get it done, what we need to do, and it will get done. That's all I have to say. Thank you. We appreciate that and working with Niles and getting this result. Yep. Someone else? No, that's it. Okay, where are you at, Nancy? Okay, well, I've totally destroyed my <laughs> notes over here, so I started all over again. So, all right, so this being the first step is to get rid of the piles. So, I'm going to make a motion that we close the hearing and issue an order of conditions with the following. Can I get you to Wait add minute. one? Did Niles give us updates periodically within your order? Your Conditions. The woman's is running out of notebook pages over here. No, I'm starting. <laughs> she can, I'm write, she can fit I'm, one more. She's I'm, on a fresh okay. page. Updates. How often you want to update? I think if, I'm going to say every three months starting in March. Yeah, so let me find out. Uh, let me confirm. I may have misread the order. Um, won't be the first, won't be the last, but I'll double check it. Um, if it, if it does need to be extended, I will ask for an extension. Um, I'll probably ask for a year and then the commission can see fit as to whatever you feel, is, you know, fee, you know, feel, feel necessary, but that's, so you're that's thinking it I'm, runs out in March. That's what I'm being told. So, yeah, yeah. Because so, then, soon, so, so we'll have an update in March prior well, to it'll be February. It'll be February, February. It'll okay. Be February. Okay. Update from Niles in February. In every three months after until the project's closed up. I'm going to say Dean Zenith. I don't want to call you out just yeah. by yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> won't be the worst that won't so, be the worst that happens, right? He does all the work anyway. Zenith in February <laughs> as to what the status. progress status. Yeah. All right. Percentage completion, whatever, something just to keep us in the loop, keep us updated, and let us know that progress is happening. We'd like to see it closed up. I have an issue in the state of April 8th, 21. Okay. April 8th? You filed in March, March 8th of 21. The order of conditions was issued April 8th of 21. Okay. April what? 8th. So I've got to file an extension by February 8th. The latest. So okay. honestly, I'm probably going to do it beforehand just because it's going to need to be requ requested no matter what. Okay. There's no way it's going to be done. Go so. Okay, so <clears throat> close the hearing. Issue order conditions with the following. The road will be cleaned at the end of each day. An estimate of the material will be done to determine if an earth removal permit is required from the town. Two. Three. After the removal of the material, all disturbed areas will be stabilized. And four, updates from Zenith Engineering in February as to the project progress slash completion of the project. And every three months they're up. Yeah. Well, we won't, there won't be any order of conditions unless we extend it. So we could, right? No, because this is How the second we... order of conditions. This is good for three years. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. All right, I'm confused. Yeah. All right, so as to the progress. So number four, again, updates from Xena Engineering in February as to the progress. Quarterly updates starting in February. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Write your next I'll second pencil. that. <laughs> What's Quarterly up? She's updates. not through writing yet. Yeah, but if we let it go, Mark will add something else. <laughs> Quarterly updates starting in February. All right. Okay. Good. Do you want to second that? Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any more discussion? I'm going to recuse from voting. Okay. Thank you. So, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. You need a few minutes, Nancy, to get? Pardon? You need a few minutes to get? No, I'm good. <laughs>
on the page. If I call that, I'll go back and look at my notes. I'll be like, what was I doing? You got no suggestions. No flag. Will you turn that into Bob so he has that or bring it to Lori? Of Lori. We got Acts 162. Yep. John's still writing. So this is what, four field stone? Yeah. All right, I think we're just about there. Or you need more time, Nancy? She's yeah, good. Yeah, you can have that down. Okay. All right, Last let's move on. So Next, is no... the agenda is 162 Bedford Street. This is an uh, abbreviated notice of resource area delineation from Outback. Hi. And um, to uh, refresh your memories, when we were here at the last meeting, um, I just wanted to take a site visit. So I know I met with Bob and our wetland scientist on site. I don't know if anyone else made a visit, but um, we walked around the property and reviewed the wetland lines. And um, I don't know if there's anything else you'd like to add relative to that, Bob, or we just Yeah, well, the, we looked at some flags. We didn't change any uh, that I, I recall. No. Uh, we did identified the three, uh, Isolated pools. Yep. If you will. Um, did a lot of walking. Yes. Some good trails through the site. Yeah. So uh, some of it was familiar to uh, Joe. The, uh, the the sidewalk we did. We did. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of trash back there. Oh no. Um, I don't know. Did we see anything else? Any? Um. As to the, the borders of some of the wetlands, the wetland areas, the pond. Uh, anyway, so I was satisfied with the uh, what we had to had to see. I think the topography is such that it's the the wetland lines are pretty well confined. Yeah. Um, based on the topography, these are like kettle holes. Yeah, it's very deceiving from the from the road. You don't have an appreciation for just how much change you go to back there. The topography. Yeah. Joe does, but. Nancy. All right, I'm um, concerned about this, the little, the smallest one on the bottom. This one here? Nope. Right below. Down here. Right this one? Uh, the A series? No, up, uh, up. Oh, this o one? Yes. Okay. Because on the um, technical comments from Is DEP, um, they're asking if any of the isolated vegetative wetlands are hydrologically connected to other resource areas. And that one looks like it's the closest to that big wetland. What's so the did elevation? you look at that little one? What's the elevation between the two? Yes. You yeah. change. Kind of hard to see on this little plan that I have. So this IVW, uh, it's the uh, D series. Um, we did see standing water in here, um, but there's a ridge that comes up um, about two feet uh, before it slopes back down towards the larger BBW over here. So this BBW is at around elevation 75, 76, and this wetland is at around 77-ish, uh, and in between it's around... Uh, 78, 79. So there's several feet of topography the, the ridge in between. separating them. Right. Okay. And, it, and you, we stood up on the ridge here, and you can clearly see the, the pocket the of water that's yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I just always like to check when DEP asks a question to be able to have the answer to it. Sure. Anyone else? No? Would that like a motion to approve? 
haven't approved the handwriting in a long time. So no. um, I'd like to close the hearing and approve. Josh, help? Uh, an order of resource area delineation. Okay. Issue an order of what Josh said. Resource, resource area, area delineation. delineation. We haven't done one of these in a long time. An ORAD. Uh, no. yeah, we always call them. Second. Okay, thank you. <laughs> a motion and a second. Discussion. Uh, looks like this was continued all through recuse from voting. Okay. So. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. right. Take care. Let's move on then. Uh, I think that does it for our continuations. Uh, so we'll move on to some new work. Uh, next is Bond Street, also known as John Pond Memorial Park. There's a request for determination of applicability, and I will read the, the notice. That's, that's According to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act, there will be a hearing on a request for determination of applicability by Jamie B. Sinet. The work included in it including the removal of two existing softball dugouts and fencing and the construction and installation of two new dugouts and fencing. Location of the project is Vaughn Street, again, also known as John Pond Memorial Park. Uh, public will be, hearing will be held on Tuesday, November 28th at 7 p.m. You're in the hot seat again, Niall. Unfortunately for you guys. <laughs> Um, so good evening for, again for the record now, Zega from Zenith. Um, <clears throat> so for any of you that are familiar with the ball field there, um, this is the gravel parking area here. Um, this is that drainage ditch that runs from that pond that's on Bond Street, runs across into the culvert here. Um, this is the ball field that's in question if we should be to the um, east side of the, of the parking area, or southeasterly side of the parking area. Um, what we're proposing to do is it's all going to be the work that's going to be done within the existing area. Um, the dugouts are basically just falling apart. They're not large enough. Um, I provided you with pictures of what they're, uh, what they're proposing to replace them with, um, what we're looking to do. So that as you, the dash lines that you see um, are the existing. So they're, they're narrower and longer. The proposed is this darker, thicker rectangular line. Um, they're going to be done on the existing gravel. They're going to have to be done. There's going to be new uh, footings uh, with slab concrete uh, poured. Um, erosion control um, is going to be is shown as this thick dash line um, that's shown here. Um, the proposal is to not remove any uh, vegetation at all. Um, and basically from what uh, Jamie's told me, because he's the one that's really more involved in this than I am, the, the fencing, the existing fencing that's there um, is needs to be moved back. Um, it really isn't even still as far back as we need, but in order to make it a safer environment for the players and the umpires and everybody else, and even just the spectators, um, we need to push that fence back as much as possible, but we can only do it so far to allow passage through. So the idea is to remove the fencing that's there, replace it with new fencing, and put these new dugouts like I said, no vegetation is going to be taken down. Everything will be restabilized, either with grass or stone dust, um, you know, depending on the area. Most of the area in the, around the dugout side are uh, grass, um, with a small area that's an entrance here on, into the field that's going to be stone dust. Everything behind the fencing here will all be uh, warm and seeded. Um, so again, we're just here just to do the kind of some repairs and some, you know, significant modifications or some 
I, I see significant some actually minor modifications to the ball field to hopefully improve it. Be happy to answer any questions that you have. Are these the existing pictures here? No, that's actually that's the what you want to that's do. the that's what they're proposing. So it's a concrete uh, slab on top of the dugout. Um, and again, it's a concrete slab to the bottom. Of the and what's there now? Is there a concrete slab now? Uh, no. no. Will you be making any changes to the parking areas? No. no the parking areas staying exactly as is. There's no proposal for that at all. It's Mr. just the just to the ball field. Nancy. Niles, the existing fence. How come it's going through the bleachers? So, oh, so I'm sorry. I meant to mention that there is a note there. Uh, I apologize. So the, the bleachers, they're, they're mobile. Uh, they, they can be moved. Okay. Uh, so they're going to be, <laughs> okay. they're going to be realigned. Well, I uh, see that they're going away, but it's the existing fence. Looks like it's going through them now. So the, no, that's a good question, actually. I, and I meant, I meant to, you know, that's, it's not really a north disturbing activity, but that being said, it's still something that needs to be done. It is, it is going to be realigned with the fencing. Um, but it'll okay. basically be in the same spot, just kind of moved a little bit to adjust for what the new fencing is going to be. Long overdue. Those are nasty dugouts. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're being replaced. How long have they been there? How long has John Conn Park been there? <laughs> Since we've been there. Long time. Long time. Did you play ball there as a kid? No. <laughs> <laughs> no baseball hasn't been invented yet. What are you guys laughing at? I don't, I don't, I don't want to play ball. <laughs> I did catch her, and I still have working thumbs. Yeah, the field. Well, I played ball there in the '70s, the so yeah. yeah. Are they poor concrete? Concrete, well, me too. I think they're blocked. Blue ball? No, I was in Little League then. Yeah, they're blocked. Questions? The butters? Anyone have a comment? Question? No. Oh, you all good then? Okay, this is an RDA, so I make a motion that we issue a negative three determination with one condition that you have Bob check your hay bale lines. That's all. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Have a great night. Thanks, sir. Thank you. All right, again, moving on, uh, something something new. Next is a notice of intent for Golfers Way, lot three, by Foresight Engineering. And I will also use the ad here. Pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, the Wilderness Protection Act, Lakeville Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on November 28th, 2023, at 7 p.m. at Lakeville at, no, this is corrected, at the police station uh, on notice of intent. The applicant, Derek Maxey, is proposing the construction of a portion of Golfers Way with associated grading, drainage structures, and cleaning within the buffer zone. The project is, lo is located at 44 Clear Pond Road, proposed lot three, and also identified as assessor's map 059, block 001, and lot 050. Good evening. Mr. Chairman, yeah, Derek Maxey, 55 Long Point Road in Lakeville. Before we before we start, Mr. Chairman, I have a question on that letter <coughs> from Foresight Engineering. I never miss a chance to straighten out the grammar and spelling of Darren Michaelis. <laughs> this, this sentence, the applicant is also proposing two erosion with a capital E control measures have been shown. There, there's like words missing in there somehow. The applicant is also proposing to install erosion control measures and they have been shown on the plan yeah i mean we're we're ruling on what they want us to do i'm not exactly <laughs> sure what they want us to do and i don't know what school we went to so i can't carry my message back to darren <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and mr chairman i'm here uh apparently darren couldn't make it uh and i would obviously not want to not show for a meeting like this so <clears throat> Basically, what we're trying to do here is uh, the existing driveway to the Lakeville Country Club has been deteriorating over the years. It's got speed bumps on, a lot of potholes and stuff. 
So instead of just resurfacing it <clears throat> and doing that, we went through the process with the planning board to do basically a form C subdivision. And in doing that, uh, unbeknownst to myself, even though we had an existing isolated uh, wetlands area there for the retention basin, uh, the engineer apparently decided we need to put a second one and let that one stay the way it is. So that's what we're here for today is because we needed to, we were gonna be putting the infiltration basin next to my existing drainage basin. We had to file over here tonight. Didn't make a lot of sense, but that's why we're here. And the so, road is not, uh, the road is gonna have uh, surface drainage. Uh, there'll be no underground drainage or anything like that. We're not doing anything as far as electric or anything like that. The road's gonna change its pitch a little bit as it comes in to meet the plan, uh, Lakewood Planning Board requirements and the uh, uh, oversight engineer. Uh, so basically we're just here to be able to work next to the existing basin that we have there. Could I speak that yes. one? And if um, anyone wants to look at it, I can, I don't have one of those things, but I can leave it here if anyone wants to come up, take a look at it. Uh, You're welcome. Derek, we got a comment. It's nice actually our uh, secretary, Lori, uh, started to go use the DEP portal and they gave us a comment uh, regarding that lot three that uh, their technical comment is, please be advised that a portion of the uh, project appears to be located within an interim wellhead protection area. So you have a public water supply well for yeah. the clubhouse. Yeah, it's 48 feet from the, club, from the clubhouse, yes. So I, I think we just got this today. I think yeah. we need an opinion from the Board of Health because okay. I don't know if, I thought those had like a 200 foot well radius or fenced in to shrink that down. Yeah. And if you're within 40, I, we just don't know those requirements of Board of Health thing, but we don't want to act without asking. But I'm not here today for the actual house lot itself. It's just to get to start working on the road. So that in order to do the house, we'll have a, you know, a septic design and all that. And if it conforms, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, I, this is basically get the road done. We're a little bit behind schedule. We were trying to get it done in November, but, uh, but there, there is a well. We actually just put it in, it's six, uh, 85 feet deep and it's 48 feet from the existing well, which is up way up near the clubhouse, probably the highest point of the property. Did you have to go through new source approval? Uh, it took a year with DEP to get it replaced oh, with well. Yeah. That's why I asked, yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, we would, uh, come back in front of this com commission with that, that house lot. And we have no intention of doing anything with that lot at this point, but mainly it's just to get the road done. Well, their, their comments say that the construct portion of subdivision roadway. So they're saying a part of the roadway is, is within that. Well, that's my parking lot. <laughs> it is my parking lot. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's all pretty much pre-existed now. And what we're talking about is the the basin itself, which is uh, probably a good 150 feet from uh, the park lot itself. Is the well on here? Excuse me. Is the well on here? The what? The well. In use. No, it's off. It's off the plan. It's all. It's on a totally other lot. Okay. I don't think it's on the other page. But... Yeah. If you're looking at this plan, I would say, you see where it says lot two golfers way, uh, 059. Yep. It's probably another 40 feet uh, off the plan from there. It's not even close to this area. And everything from the well, actually from that location, <clears throat> everything pitches down towards where we're talking. That's probably uh, the lowest part right there. The well is the lowest part? No, no, the well is the highest part. Yeah. So I still think we should just defer to the Board of Health for a comment on that. Uh, but any, you know, I think we should still vet if anybody else has concerns about the rest of the plan. Okay. We should talk about it. Joe? My question is, 
with these copies of, I guess, a butters properties. Okay. Th these aren't the usual notifications that I've been checking off for the past 25 years. I mean, th these are just. Well, you get the certified. No, but I mean. Green cards? Green cards, right? Yeah, but there's no way of knowing that these people have actually been notified. Right, not off the. That's something in front of the right. computer. That's just like, with where a butter's notified. That Darren and Darren would have that. <laughs> I would have. Okay. That. All right. Usually, the first thing he does is hand them to me, and right. we don't usually see anything like this. Okay. Right? Just want to make sure that legally, this is this it's is being done. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate. We've been doing this form C for how long now? Quite a while. I would say you started with that over a year ago. Yeah. And Which obviously that's that's done, but still. Well, it isn't done to, to get the approval process for uh, CONCOM. Right. But is there anything else? I mean, is there a reason why we wouldn't approve it pending Board of Health approval? I mean, is there any, the are there cards? any other problems? Yeah. In the mailing cards? The butter notification? What, you don't have the... Well... Are the, are you no. The, no. This, this is my question. Normally, you you have receipts, and I get the and I get the signed green cards. Well, all these are, are you know, generated from our taxes. Tax, tax. These, these are these cards. are you know, you know, the tax cards. Is it 100 feet per bottle or 400? Oh, yes, no, it's 100. 100. 100. 100. Yeah. 100 so, wetlands. Yeah. So pretty much, it's just me and one other house. Maybe that's why. Well, yeah. well I would think it'd be the Curtises and the other people on the other side in front of lot three. Yeah, they would then have to yeah. I just don't want some weird legal thing to interfere right. with this. Yeah. There is a page of three abutters. Yeah. Okay. 46, 42, and 50. Right, right. And Joe doesn't have uh the receipt of them being notified. Right. And, but probably you know Karen probably has it. I'm sure he does. Because usually, first thing he does is give me an envelope full of them. Well, are any of the butters here tonight? No. Okay. Well, I guess we can't ask them. <clears throat> well, we're going to continue anyway, so yeah, that would be one, one more item. Can I ask the uh, the commission a question? That's why you're here. You know, it's just interesting that we have an existing isolated water, we we'll call it isolated water hole drainage for existing entrance or whatever. The same exact road, same distance, nothing's really changed, yet we have to create a whole nother basin bar instead of using the existing one that's there that works probably better than it's ever worked. Just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That's a design question. I know, right? Well, right. no, I, I kind of was told you couldn't use it. I'm like, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense because I would think it's a probably a, a registry of deeds in the time that it was built, if it was filed properly. Yeah, I don't know. So if it wasn't filed properly, say it was done before 1978 or whatever that cutoff is, mm -hmm. you made wetlands. <laughs> in, in essence, right, if, but it's wetlands that's taking drainage in from right. You know, it may have, lots and everything it else. may be taking drainage from the existing driveway. But if it wasn't filed to be a retention pond well, it was. as it part of a design plan, well, then if you could produce that, I would think you're in well, the Well, the concrete pipe going into Recognize it. So, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it just didn't make sense. Why create another whole water hole when you got one right there that you and not even did, abandoned? And guess what? It's going to dry up. Unless you did calculations hmm. that said that the size of that wasn't wouldn't big suffice. Enough capacity. Well, I think, <clears throat> honestly, it was a Boston engineer, and I think he was a... He just kind of thought that was the right way to go. And unfortunately, the one that's there will not have any water in it once this new one's built, because that's the only water that goes to it. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna stop all that. We're kind of we get rid of one to create another one to make a lot of sense. But, so we'll continue, I guess. <laughs> what is it? Engineers having problems you didn't know you had? Exactly. <clears throat> Daring's last line in that letter is I have notified the abutters for the eleven twenty eight twenty three meeting. Thank you. This didn't indicate how many or how he did. I mean, we would assume the normal process, but you know, in the meantime, well, you you talk to him. Yeah, sure. something must yeah. happen because he would have been here. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't want you guys to think I didn't want to show up. <laughs> All right. Um, 
right, so to be clear, we're gonna I make a motion that we continue to um, December 12th at 7 p.m. and you need your butter notification cards and something from the Board oh. of Health that says you're not gonna kill you well or whatever to say, <laughs> okay? I don't wanna go through that again. Okay. Okay. I'll second it. All right, we have a motion and a second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you in Thank two you. weeks. Good luck. <laughs> All right. All right. Next, 28 Cross Street. This is a request for determination of applicability. And I will read the notice. Pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 131 of the Veterans Protection Act, Lakeville Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on November 28, 2023, at 7 p.m. at Lakeville Police Station, 323 Bedford Street, on a request for determination of applicability. The applicant, Megan Young, is proposing the construction of a horse paddock attached to an existing barn. The project is located at 28 Cross Street in Lakeville. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Looks like she's done everything we've asked. I think so. <laughs> there were no changes, no. so it looks all the same. Yep. We conducted a uh, site visit. Yep. And everything looked looked fine there as well. Uh, comments, questions. You waited all this time patiently. <laughs> You've got nothing to say. We're well, just ready to move to the next step. We gave a lot of, <laughs> give plenty of hurdles to us last time. They got a nice little packet for us and they filed everything, so she should yeah. be good as far as uh, the legality of her going through with this. Yeah. yeah, I should mention, you did a nice job on the uh, on the uh, filing. And, and the yeah. Fancy, Marissa, fancy. Marissa does an amazing job. We're very lucky. <laughs> I wish they all, well, probably all, all of them would be like that, but. <laughs> I have one question. Sure. Um, specific size of this berm that we have to build. Height. Put that in here. Oh, you did. Yeah, it's two okay. Foot by one. It's two yeah. foot by one foot. All right. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, and if you make a change, just let us know. Okay. That sounds fine. All right. There were always as we call field, field adjustments. adjustments. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so I make a motion that we um, issue a negative. Three determination with one good con good with one condition, which is to call Bob to have him check your proposed erosion control. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Uh, Any discussion going on here? No, I don't think so. Oh. I'll just make one comment. Um, your delineated wetland photo here is of Oakham Mass. I think it's just a- Oh, I must have just yeah, copied and pasted it, it from another yeah, one's, but my apologies. Title, but <laughs> it definitely is the right uh, yeah. parcel, so. Apologies. Just to show <laughs> just, you that we do read it. Yeah, just yeah, to know. know. <laughs> just to know. Good to check me on it. Appreciate it. And, and I forgot to ask, uh, are there any abutters? Anyone else interested in speaking? No. All friendly faces. All right, so motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's that easy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Miles is in here. Are we doing uh, did he know? Well, four floors. Yeah, he worked on it before, but that was really accepted. Hi, Hank. Nice to see you. All right. Anybody still working? Next. 12 Fuller Shores Road. This is a request for determination of applicability for a deck in the, on the, the lakeside of the house. 
everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Heather Gaddy. Um, my mother and I both own 12 Polar Shores. I think Bob, you had uh, met and came over to the house and checked it out. Two times, yes. Um, so this is my contractor, Phil DeRosa from uh, Pro Residential Services. How are you doing? We're here, um, filed the application. Okay. Uh, tell us something about the project. What was that? I'm sorry. Could you tell us something yeah, about sure. the project? Yeah, sure. It's just a uh, 12 by um, 30 deck, Chris treated deck uh, with uh, composite decking. Mm -hmm. And it's, there's no railing because it's you know, like 16 inches. So 12 this. feet towards the lake. Yes. 30 on the house. What's the, uh, what's the, it's all within the, is it within the 25 foot buffer or just outside of it? Oh, it's, it's right the, on the 50, I think. The back it's of the, the house. Oh, right no, I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking so at the wrong. 25, yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> About 38 feet. Yeah. So I think we just need to require erosion control. Great. Yeah, so we'll, you're going to hand dig all those sauna mm -hmm. tubes? Hand dig, yes. Yeah. No machines back there? No. 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 It's all been dry. There's no grass and everything. So we hand dig everything. It's, it's really it's, flat. It's hard yeah, to tell on this plan. Um, how's the grade there as far as from the existing house to the pond? Is it fairly flat? It's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty flat. Very so flat. we don't have to worry about any stuff no, running down the hill? Not so, no, it's flat. It's pretty much flat. So you'll go get a, a roll of the silk yep, fence and you'll put that up and just wrap the ends mm -hmm. right around the up corners. a little bit. So mm -hmm. during construction, until those saw tubes are stabilized. Mm -hmm. Good. You got that, Nancy? And Doug. Four feet tubes. deep. Ouch. S yes. S O N O. <laughs> Sono. Sono. Yeah. Sono. 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 Yeah. Well, sure that's what you have to do. That's in that area, though. I don't know. <laughs> have you done any experimental digging to see what's there? Not yet. <laughs> I, when do you plan on was, doing the project? Um. Uh, Sure. We 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 applied for the permit. And we were just waiting on this, so I can do it soon. I just, yeah, I the do it soon. Getting, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, it's supposed to be pretty cold tomorrow, so maybe we'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I make a motion that we issue a ne <clears throat> negative three determination with two conditions: one that the sono tubes be hand dug, and mm -hmm. Bob to check the erosion control. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Second. Okay, we'll motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Your business. That was yeah. easy. Awesome. Thank you very much. Good Thank luck. Very much Thanks for coming in. Good luck. Good night. You might hit a little bit of moisture at the bottom of the hole. <laughs> might. <laughs> you think? You know what's a good thing for that? A shop vac. Yeah. I did one for a friend once. Uh, it was within their patio and we had to pour drill through the concrete. Good night. Have a Bye, good night. Everybody. And then it was tough thing because you want to cave down to the water, so I used to drop back with two extensions to get down and push the tube down. So you only vacuumed out where the tube was. I used aluminum ones because it was so wet. So yeah. It turned yeah. And it was great. It was genius actually. Everyone's while dump the shop back and and the next day you return it to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> You laugh. I often. never thought of that. Yeah. That's something. They're handy. I, I love my shop. You back. saved the best for last. Yeah, it was <laughs> oh, I guess Christy. That's it. You all set? All right. Hi, everyone. For the record, my name is Garrett Piccarillo. I'm with GPI. Um, here before you for the first time, obviously, um, presenting a uh, storage facility, self storage facility expansion project at 156 County Street. It's the uh, existing right space storage uh, facility. Currently, you're just looking at existing conditions plan here. Uh, there is eight existing uh, storage facility buildings on site. So you got <clears throat> four on this uh, eastern end here. And then for on the western end here, these were the original buildings uh, built way back when. I don't know exactly when uh, these built four buildings here were added in 2014. Uh, now, if you notice, there's a big sea of open pavement in the center of the site here, uh, where 
it has been used in the past for parking large vehicles, <coughs> whatever that may be, RVs, et cetera. It's been mostly empty uh, for years now. So uh, my client is looking to add three new buildings in this area of existing pavement. Okay. So uh, I'll just flip over to the site plan. So you can see here. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, you're totally fine. So you can see here, uh, these are the three buildings that we're proposing to add. They range in, in size from 3,900 square feet here, uh, 7,150 for the largest building here. Uh, again, all, all of the construction um, is within the existing paved areas, so there's no impervious area that we're proposing to add to the site. Uh, You're reducing it. You're reducing it. We yeah. actually are reducing it, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we are slightly reducing it. Yeah. I believe I had, I think it may have been 600 square feet. The only reason we are reducing it is because there is a paved walkway here behind the office building that we're going to remove from and see because it's just unnecessary. We're pulling the curb line back for that purposes. So we removed a little bit of green space, uh, but then we gave some here and it ended up being the site decreased overall. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll flip over to the gradient and drainage real quick. I questions. Um, so I guess I should start first by, and I have an exhibit that I, that I provided showing with the pre and post watershed kind of comparison. So I'll go to that in a second. But generally, uh, right now, uh, everything within the proposed limit of work, it, which is all just pavement, uh, is draining. It's actually not draining. None of it's draining to this pond up here to the south, even though it's right next to the area. I originally thought it did, and it does not. So everything flows. Uh, there's kind of a ridge down line down the existing pavement, which I'll, is pretty clear on that exhibit, right? So we have drainage, just sheet flowing to one of two places. Uh, first one being this existing catch basin here. Um, that outlets to a uh, stormwater pond here, and then the second location being just another above ground pond located here. That's taking the sheet flow from the pavement kind of in this area. So we are making every effort to maintain on site drainage patterns. Um, so we're again, no increase in paved in, in the purpose area, um, and we're Mimicking what's there, we're just kind of doing so with some conveyances, like uh, collecting roof drainage and roof, roof leaders and routing them to those two locations. Uh, besides that, it's mostly over, just overland flow that continues to function the way it does, with the exception that we did have to add a couple of catch basins here just because the grading was kind of strange and it was added more ponding back there. Uh, but that was in an effort to just not send anything to that basin. I wanted to because it would have made the grading easier, but I wouldn't be able to say that I wasn't that I wasn't sending anything new somewhere where it is going now. So that's really no reason for those. Um, just know there there's a septic relocation with this project. Um, there's a there's an existing septic underneath this smaller building. There's a dash line in here. Um, it's underneath the pavement, so we are relocating it here, well outside the buffer. Um, and that's already been approved by Board of Health. We've already received zoning approval. We're in the planning process right now. And I should have noted where the wetland is, but I'm sure you so noticed. Um, it's kind of here in the southern portion, almost off the site, kind of along the property line for the most part. And we're showing a 100 foot buffer. So it does encompass just a portion of the 3,900 square foot building as well as a portion of the Mr. Building. Chairman? Yes. You know, um, you didn't show. You showed where the 100 foot buffer is, but it's not like way off because you're not showing from the corner of that proposed storage facility, the top one to the wetland that V's right in right there. You're yep. not showing that distance. I think it's shown on another page. Come on, five or seven. Is it on a different plan that shows it? A different page? You're asking yeah. for just a dimension to the proposed building. Yeah, it's on no, the I'm look, asking look at how five. far it is. I'm look on five. five. It says 84. No, 84 to the property, to the line. property line. It's oh, not showing how far it is to the well one. I got you. Okay. I didn't dimension it. I showed the 100 foot buffer. It's about 50 feet. We're well within it. You just want to, you just want to dimension to the corner of the building? Well, the closest spot that from the, I'm always interested in how close that building's coming to the wetland. You're showing the wetland buffer way oh, yeah. over here. 
you're not showing how close that corner of that is to the wetland because that wetland comes way in here. Yeah, about 50 feet, but I will scale it for you. That would be nice. Yeah. You're right. I, so do normally, a, I normally do show that, so I apologize. If you look at that other, the old building that's next to it, I think is closer to the wetland line it than is. that one is. It, the existing building is slightly closer to the wetland. Well, no, close. because the wetland V's out. It's that V that the closest part of the wetland comes at that dot right there that's closest to that building. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's about the same. You've got 40, 5, 6, 7, about 48, uh, half feet to the composed. All right. Corner. So, about 50. So about 50 feet. Okay. And this one's about, I'm getting about 48. Yep, see, so it's close. About 48. So I, it's close. Okay. We'll call it a wash, I guess. Is that area already? It's all within the off? existing pavement, though. Yeah, that's yes. Yeah. That's okay. the benefit. Can you question it? No, it's just got an answer. I thought I was ignoring you. I have 11 by 17s if you want That's them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I think that was mostly what I want to do. Uh, the impressive part is that there's less paved area. <laughs> it's right. like, it's like, it's essentially a walk, but yeah, it's technically it's a slight decrease. So, I'll just flip over to this. Uh, which everyone should have. I was just trying to give a pretty simple side-by-side -side comparison of a pre and, pre and post watershed areas, two of them, um, as I described. So the left side is the, the pre-development or the current condition. Um, this area here is all draining to the catch basin and into this pond here. And this green area, and I am completely colorblind, so I think that's green. Uh, <laughs> that is all draining directly to sheet flow to this pond as a curb break. Um, and then in the post condition, you can see, and I'm sorry, I probably should have quantified the areas, but um, we did our best to keep them as close to what they are today um, as we could. So this area is just continuing to all drain down to that catch basin, all the paved areas, um, and then the roofs are being collected and these roof drains and tied in directly to the catch basin. And then this area is kind of trying to mimic what's there. It's kind of the same deal, except we did have to out with a couple of the roof drain or the main roof drain discharge. So it all drains into the front of the site? Yeah, it all drains from the front. Why'd they put the big retention pond It's back? so, it's, I know, it confused me at first too, uh, but it's when they built the additional four units or four structures over here, yeah. it, it takes the drainage from that. Yeah. Do you mind if I spoke to it for a moment? Oh, please do. So Garrett was so good to come in front of the planning board. Uh, we asked the guys for him. Uh, some of them were totally unrelated to conservation. It was the tight areas where the pavement goes behind the two buildings, two of the new buildings that we wanted some either bollards or some vehicular traffic controls or maybe do not enter signs to keep vehicles from going and kind of getting trapped around that side of the building. Uh, we also commented on, uh, you had some fence, existing fence along that southern edge of the pavement. We had concerns about snow removal and damaging the fence, suggested that maybe that get moved a little bit. Uh, so outside of that, we really, you know, we felt like the overdig might get you to the edge of the pavement. But uh, as far as a conservation standpoint, uh, erosion control along that southern edge where that existing pond is, I think would be... A, a wise condition if we uh, give an RDA on this. Seems like, can I just ask, you did all this work. Why didn't you do a notice of intent? How come you did an RDA? So I actually spoke with <laughs> yeah. Mr. Bouchard on the phone. Uh, I've actually spoke a couple times about it and that was the route that we decided to go. I mean, because we're not Increasing in purpose area, the drainage patterns are identical. You're just putting roofs instead of pavement, so it didn't feel. There were so many better. better it's associated. all within the existing footprint. Yep. Yeah. So the planning there. board's off. Okay. Well, they're going to come back with the, those amendments, and we wanted conservation approval, like we always do, is we want close out before. So the final plan that comes to the planning board is what CONCOM approves. And Garrett, you had already said you already got 
Board of Health approval on that. Yeah, septic's approved when zoning's approved the project. I looked at me. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> You're there. That's why I'm looking at you. So what do you have to say? Me? Well, like I said, I, I just notice of intent you could put conditions on. I get we can still put the erosion control. Mark will help me say where you want it. Oh. I think I um, showed is the excuse me, sorry. Um, is the erosion control is there something in addition to what's not shown on the plan that's being requested? I'm showing erosion, I'm showing still fence all on the rear here. No, no, that's that's what so, we need. So I don't yeah, think it needs to be a condition, okay. it's on the plan. All right, I thought you was I misunderstood you. No, just, no I, sometimes it's belt and suspenders to, Okay. Obviously that's a call bob first type of thing before the Machines stop moving earth, but you know. at, at first I was against it, and then after just reviewing it, I think there's more more benefits than all, and mm. so we decided on the RDA instead. Got quiet. <laughs> so it's the first day of class. Well, I'm just thinking about because of the size of the project, I'm thinking about the other things that uh, are entailed in a notice of intent, including like uh, registering in Plymouth and getting a certificate of compliance after the fact. They won't have to do any of that. So. Who will have to provide an as built to the, to the planning department, I believe? That'll have to be certified to be yeah, compliant. I'm just saying, an awful right? lot of money and time and everything went we, into these huge plans. These are pretty, yeah, yeah these, <laughs> I'd say they did you know, it. This is so a pretty straightforward. Of a few bucks and doing a notice of intent. I just guess I don't get it. So it's all right. Everybody else is all right. I don't, <laughs> you don't need my vote. What do you, you guys, what do you, what do you issue? It's not called a certificate of compliance. But we're, we're, we're giving them an approval of a site plan review. Oh, that's it. That's uh, so that gets conditioned and filed at the uh, town clerk's office because yep. uh, the, the appeal period and then that has the teeth in that that the building commissioner then uses that as his template to follow for any conditions that we put on that throughout construction. I think this is an appropriate way to go. I see no issue with the RDA. Say again. I don't see an issue with the RDA. I mean, they're they're improving something that's already, I guess, for lack of better, degraded from the environmental standpoint. Um, if anything, they're um, adding roof runoff right into the detention instead of having a sheet flow. So I think it's an overall improvement. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think the, the RDA is appropriate. And it, if you wanted, Nancy, I would accept the recommendation to the planning board if you wanted to, us to add a condition to our approval if you felt like you couldn't put it. I would mean, be reasonable, but, you know, if you said, I want two and I can only do one with an RDA, then don't give us oh, um, overreach, but. Yeah, no, no, I think as long as that erosion control is there and that we only need that one condition, you think, unless anybody thinks there's anything else. I, to me, it's a no-brainer. It's, it's within the. Yeah, it's already within. We the discussed other footprint. things like lights and overflow, and it's all everything they're doing is in the middle of the whole property. Right. Yeah. So, it's very confined to their space in the center. It's no abutters. Uh, there were realistically. Um, there were a couple across the street. The church. Yes, in yes, the church. Two ways away. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, there's nothing that says we can't condition more than one condition on an RDA either. Right. No, you could do one or two. It's just yeah. when it gets extensive. I mean, you know, on an NOI, you can do pages if you need to. Yeah. I don't, I don't see there being any... Yeah, most of the things we would condition were already condition. in it anyway. Yeah. I, okay. I don't think we're going to condition anything that one is going to be an issue or one that isn't already proposed in the project. Okay. So I make a motion that we issue a negative determination with one condition that Bob is called to check the erosion control. Prior to commencement of work? Yeah, prior to commencement of work. 
I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's still astounding how much money people will pay to store stuff. How much <laughs> stuff people have that people have to order you that oh, this is a pay more than this got to that store space I think they said they're ninety nine percent full here. Uh, always. Which is why they're which is why they're saving. Thank you everyone. Have a good night. Have a good one. Thanks. <clears throat> Meeting minutes. So you had to wait Charlie, so long. I saw Charlie that. Charlie Road. I here. I, Did you I see the revised agenda? Road. We got one more. Yeah, and it's number 13 right after meeting minutes. Oh, <laughs> all right. You're right. <laughs> Does this abut any conservation land that we have? No. Just it's a piece of land all by itself? All by itself. Yeah. It's not our purview. It's that land. Yeah, not, not anything I'd be interested in. How would you land. access it? Well, you drive down Charlie Road. It's you know, kind of a gravelly thing, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a great. Uh, Are we yeah. skipping over the minutes? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't even have the minutes. Okay, so um, it's right off of Charlie Road, but it's not where they dump all the stuff. It's right on. Uh, it's on the corner. On the oh, corner of Shore Road, Avenue. Shore Avenue and Charlie Road, yeah. But I talked to Ed about it today. It's very interesting to me because I said, and I'm oh. always about this he on Clark Shore. I say sewer. If yeah. we we're going to sewer Clark Shores, oh. would that be a spot where you'd have a pumping station sure. to pump all the, you know, what, off of Shore Avenue? And he said that there, that sewering is just not in the future. Because he goes, oh, no. And I said, well, what about the future? No, that's not going to happen in the future, that the new septic systems are going to be so, so efficient. Yeah. efficient and treated that you could actually. So then on the other hand, I'm like, OK, so if the septic systems that they're going to be creating in the next 20 years gonna be a house are going to be so perfect that they can put a house there, it'll be a lot. So maybe we should. You know, I mean, it's up to the select. It's not up to us. How anyway. big is a lot? It's only a tenth of an acre. Yeah, it's little. But it is right across the street from what is that, Third Beach? Yeah, Third Beach, Little Beach there. Is, is there a structure on it already? Nope. No. No? No, probably pretty wet. All of Charlie it, it Road is, is Charlie and, Road is a swamp. Yeah, it is it is all and wet wet. Right. So why would we want it? Why would we want it? Yeah. 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 That's and then you get the responsibility right. for it. And, so that's kind of my thing. It's 100% hydric soils. I mean, you can, yeah. you put one shovel full, you're in water. Yeah. We don't need to be it's in the It's all on fill. That whole yeah, it's all, Peace Shore yeah. Avenue is yeah. all on fill anyway. Yeah. What happens if we don't take it? Well, I think they can still pay they taxes on it. Give it to somebody? Tear it down. Well, they won't pay taxes on it. The town will just yeah, end up just accepting it. it. Have to take it. Have to take it. It just won't be concentrated. Right. Exactly. Yeah, well, we don't have to want to take the responsibility for it already. We don't want to. Like, the yeah. biggest property. Yeah. <laughs> is kind of Sarah left. Oh, which one's that? Is your, your sheet? Is your question? Yeah, that goes, that was yeah, that goes for you. To Lori. That's mine. Okay. That's that for the motion. Oh, yeah. For Fieldstone yeah. with all the, the floor yeah. conditions she added. I just wanted to make sure that this was a duplicate. Yeah, no, no well, that's so the she, only one. So she's had to watch it on the cable three times. It's all because we changed it. Back and forth. How many times? times? One street you ordered. So, so did we, I didn't see any minutes. Don't don't the, they're in the She emailed us. Yes. Oh, three nothing. pages, August 22nd, yep. 2023 meeting. I'd be happy if Joe looked at them. I already read them over. I checked again. Earlier today, make sure I have done it. They're perfect. I make a motion that we uh, accept the minutes of August twenty second, two thousand twenty three. Second. second. Okay. A motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we're gonna not act on zero Charlie Road. Right. Okay. Right. So did I. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not in our purview to accept land, actually. Yeah, all we can do is make the recommendation for or against it. Holy moly. 
That was a meeting. And it was a well, the old well, that was more people it. here than we ever. We deserved the summer. So I make a motion what? to adjourn. Second. Second. What were all those people here for? <laughs> you know, over there. What, what was were you here tonight? Yeah. What Wait, were let's close the meeting. Can we? I yeah, we, did a, we have a motion to second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> the meeting is adjourned. Right.